Hello, everybody. Hello. Welcome to today's live lesson. Just want to check and make sure that everybody can see me and hear me okay before we get started. While we're waiting for some people to join, tell me in the chat where you're watching from. And also tell me, are you doing anything or did you do anything for Halloween? Happy Halloween. I know Halloween isn't recognized or celebrated in all places of the world, but some people really enjoy dressing up or getting candy for Halloween. So we'll wait just a moment while everyone joins in. My name is Molly. I'll be giving your lesson today and our topic is going to be clothing vocabulary. So you can see my closet behind me. We're going to fill the closet today and go over the names of some different pieces of clothing, as well as some common verbs that we use when we're talking about clothing, okay? So again, my name's Molly. Welcome to today's live lesson. We're gonna wait just one more minute. While we're waiting, tell me where you're watching from and if you have any plans for Halloween. And again, happy Halloween, everyone. I thought about wearing a costume for today's lesson, but I didn't. <laughs> I chose not to. Let's see where everyone is watching from. Tell me which country you're watching from. All right, I see Nigeria. Hello, Nigeria. Hello, South Korea and Pakistan and Hungary. Hello, Sri Lanka. Welcome, welcome. Philippines and Japan. Awesome. Oh, someone dressed up. Their costume was from Squid Games. I don't know if all of you have watched the Squid Games. That's a very popular Netflix series. I finished it in two days. <laughs> and yes, I didn't wear a costume for today's lesson, but I did wear some, some ghost earrings since it's Halloween. <laughs> did anybody dress up in a costume today for Halloween? So I saw the one from Squid Games. Does anybody else wear a costume or dress up? Hello, Cambodia and India and Nepal, Saudi Arabia. And Malaysia. Lots of messages are coming in now. I'm trying to keep up. Nepal, I said hi, Nepal, right? I don't think I ignored you. There's a lot of messages coming through, so I'm trying to go through and read all of them. All right, very good. Well, hello to everybody. If I missed your country, I'm sorry. There's lots and lots of messages coming through <laughs> very fast. Happy Halloween to everyone. We're going to get started with today's lesson, and that is talking about clothing vocabulary, okay? Please keep in mind that if you need to leave today's lesson early, then you can go back and find this full live lesson on Cambly's YouTube channel and watch it again or pick up where you left off, okay? So we're going to dive right in and we're going to first go over some common verbs that we use when we're talking about clothing. After we go through those verbs, we're going to add some pieces of clothing to our closet and some accessories and go over the words for those. And then we're going to do a little bit of practice before we end today's lesson. So is everybody ready to get started? If you're ready, give me a thumbs up or a yes, Molly, in the chat. Okay. So I'm going to hold this because I think if I put it up here, you won't be able to read it as well. So if you need to, you can take a screenshot now if you want a photo of some of these verbs. So we're going to go through each of these one by one. So these verbs um, are very common verbs that we use when we're talking about clothes or getting ready. All right. So the first one is just 
to wear. So to wear is the verb that we use when we want to talk about what clothes we have on. So today I'm wearing ghost earrings and a white tank top and a pink blazer. This is called a blazer, which we'll go over. That is what I'm wearing. So to wear is the verb that we use when we want to talk about what clothes we have on, okay? The next one is to get dressed or to get undressed. So when we get ready in the morning or when it's the end of the day and we're getting ready to shower or go to bed, we can use to get dressed or undressed. And if we skip down to the bottom, we also use to put on and to take off. So to put on my shirt, to take off my shoes. These are the phrasal verbs that we use. Sometimes native speakers will use these in place of these. Not always, but sometimes. The next one, to dress up or to get dressed up. So these mean the same thing. So to dress up or to get dressed up. To dress up can have a slightly different meaning. For example, if we're talking about Halloween, I can ask you, did you dress up for Halloween? And it means, did you put on a costume for Halloween? Did you dress up for Halloween? To get dressed up means that we're going to put on a nice outfit. Outfit is the word we use when we're talking about what we are wearing, right? The top, the jacket, the pants, the shoes, that's our outfit, all of it together. So to get dressed up means maybe we're going to a nice place or on a date or to a party. We want to get dressed up. We want to look nice and dress a little more formally. And then to dress down is the opposite of that. So maybe we cancel our plans and decide to stay home and we dress down. We put on our pajamas. Okay, so to dress down is just the opposite of that. To change clothes, we use to refer when we maybe we don't like our outfit. We're going to a party and we have on an outfit and we don't like it. So we're going to change our clothes or change our outfit to something else, okay? So this is just referring to when we're taking off what we have on and putting on something different. That's to change clothes. Maybe after a long day at work, you get home and immediately change clothes out of your work clothes. And we talked about to put on and to take off. So to put on our shoes, to take off our shoes. If it's cold outside, I'm going to put on a jacket or a sweater. If it's hot outside, I'm going to take off my jacket or sweater. And then I have two more that didn't fit on this piece of paper. So again, if you want to just take a quick screenshot, I'm going to hang this behind me, but I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it. The last two, to try on. So to try on, we use when we are just putting on something to see if it fits or if we like it. So maybe we're shopping for some new clothes and we see something we like, we're going to try that on to see how it looks on us, okay? So to try on. And the last one is to fit. So to fit is what we use when we're talking about how the clothes are on us, if they are too big or too small or just right. So if our clothes fit, it means that they're the perfect size. If our clothes don't fit, it means that they're too big or too small. Okay, so these are some common verbs that we're going to use when we're talking about clothes and getting ready, getting dressed. All right, I'm going to hang these up behind me just in case you need to refer to them at some point in the lesson. All right. So now we're going to fill our closet. So closet is the word we use where we keep our clothes. 
So closet, it's different in some places. Where I live, a closet is just a small room in our house, very small, where we hang our clothes on a hanger. This is called a hanger. So we hang our clothes on a hanger and we put them in our closet. So today we're going to fill our closet. We're gonna move a little quick because there's a lot of vocabulary. I'm going to try and get through all of it and answer your questions. So any questions you have, please just type them in the chat. All right, let's get started. So our first piece of clothing is the very simple t-shirt, t-shirt. Okay, so a t-shirt is just a basic shirt. We can dress it up sometimes or dress it down. It can be very casual. One thing to know is when we're talking about our shirts, this part is called a sleeve, a sleeve. And if the sleeve comes to here, we call it a short sleeve shirt, short sleeve shirt. If the sleeve comes down, we call it a long sleeve shirt, long sleeve shirt. And there are short sleeve shirts and long sleeve shirts, t-shirts, short sleeve t-shirts and long sleeve t-shirts. So I'm going to hang this up behind me. That is our t-shirt. Again, t-shirts can be, um, usually they're very casual. We use them to dress down if we're just at home or going maybe to the supermarket or to the gym. But sometimes t-shirts can be dressed up depending on what you wear. <laughs> All right, the next one is a tank top, tank top. So a tank top is when a shirt doesn't have sleeves. Okay, it just is very skinny. You can see our shoulders. We call that a tank top. So there are no sleeves that come down. It's just very skinny right here. So tank tops we wear maybe to the gym or in the summer or we wear them under something. So I'm actually wearing a tank top, but I have a blazer over my tank top. This is called a tank top. See if there, somebody says they hate tank tops. Let's see if there's any questions really quickly. <clears throat> oh, very good. I see some of you practicing. Yeah, it's a little hot here. I suggest that you take your jacket off. Very good. After getting back home, you change your clothes. You hang your clothes on the hanger. Perfect. Okay, the next one, I have a couple of words we're going to do with this one. So. This is a long sleeve shirt, right? You see the sleeves come down and when a shirt has buttons that we can button, up, unbutton and button, these are called buttons, we call it a button up shirt, a button up shirt. There are also long sleeve button up shirts and short sleeve button up shirts. There's both both of them. So that is a button up shirt. Do you all hear my rooster crowing? <laughs> now one picture I don't have but I want to talk about is a blouse. So button up shirts are worn by both men and women. A blouse is usually a nicer shirt, a more formal shirt. It can be long sleeve or short sleeve. That's worn by women. So a blouse. So maybe if we're going to work, we're going to wear a blouse. We're not going to wear a t-shirt, okay? So a blouse I'm going to add right here. So I'm not wearing a blouse. I'm wearing a tank top and what's called a blazer. But if I was wearing a nicer, fancier shirt, it would be called a blouse. Okay, 
Really quickly, so a lot of these words are coming from American English, okay, because I am from the U.S. I will try, I know there's some differences in some of the words, so I'll try to cover some of the differences, but most of the words are pulled from American English. So there are different words for some of these. Okay, the next one. is a sweater, a sweater. So when it gets cold, we're probably going to wear a sweater in the winter. So sweater is long sleeved and it's thicker, it's warm. We use it to keep us warm. Now this particular sweater is a special style. If you notice the neck comes up, we call this one a turtle neck sweater. Can you think of why we call it a turtle neck sweater? Maybe because turtles, when they put their heads into their shells, <laughs> I don't know if that's why it's called that, but a turtle neck sweater, it comes up, it keeps our neck warm. So a sweater. The next one we're also going to wear when it's cold outside. And there's two words we're going to learn for this one. So a hoodie or a sweatshirt. So the difference between a hoodie and a sweatshirt. So a hoodie usually has a hood on the back. So a hood is the part that's attached to the back that you can put on your head, that's called a hood. So if the sweatshirt has a hood, we call it a hoodie, a hoodie. And sometimes a hoodie will also have a pocket on the front. So a hoodie will always have a hood. Now a sweatshirt maybe does not have the hood. A sweatshirt is like a hoodie, but without the hood. And these are casual. We wouldn't wear a hoodie or a sweatshirt to a formal event. These are very casual. Maybe if we're uh, running outside, we're exercising outside in the cold, we might put on a hoodie. Or in my house, I wear hoodies because it's cold. Okay, I'm gonna stop for questions really quickly before we move to the bottom part. Does anybody have? <laughs> So you can hear my rooster. Yeah, he's, I don't know where he is. Somewhere out front, he's very loud. All right, let me see. Somebody said, why is a sweater called a sweater? Uh, is it related to sweat? <laughs> That's a good question, I'm not sure. Definitely, sometimes if we wear a sweater and it's too hot, it might make us sweat. <laughs> All right, any questions really quickly? Oh, my rooster doesn't wake me up. He, he crows, so the noise they make we call crow. He crows in the morning, but I usually can't hear him. Okay, let's move on to the bottom part of our closet. We still have quite a bit to go through. <laughs> Somebody says you draw very well. Uh, I'm going to tell you a secret, I did not draw these. I printed them from the internet. <laughs> I didn't draw them. I wish I drew them. The next one we have, oh, can you see that? Is a jacket, a jacket. So a jacket is something we wear maybe in the fall. Right now it's not snowing. It's not really, really cold. It's a little cold. So if I go outside, I'm going to put on a jacket. So a jacket is a little, thinner. It's not as thick. A jacket. Now if it's winter and it's really, really cold outside, it is snowing, instead of a jacket, I'm going to wear a coat. A coat. So a coat is much thicker. It's thicker and bigger than a jacket. It's going to keep us even warmer. 
So if it's snowing outside or it's really cold, I'm going to put on a coat. If it's just a little cold outside, maybe I will put on a jacket or a sweater or a sweatshirt. Okay, a coat. And sometimes a coat has a hood. Sometimes a coat doesn't have a hood. It depends on what kind of coat you want to wear. Okay. The next ones are shorts. Shorts. So shorts are what we wear in the summer, in the heat. Probably shorts are more casual. I don't think many people wear shorts to work, right? So shorts are obviously shorter. They come above our knees when we wear them. Shorts. And for the longer ones, so shorts obviously come above our knee. We have pants, okay? Pants. But let's talk about the different kinds of pants because there are different kinds of pants that we wear. So an easy way, a little cheat sheet, this isn't always accurate, but for the most part, if our pants are blue, they're jeans or blue jeans. We call them jeans for short. Uh, there's also black jeans and white jeans, but for the most part, jeans when they're blue. If our pants are brown, maybe we wear brown pants or tan pants to work. We call them khakis in the US. I'm not sure about British English. In the US, we call them khakis. Brown pants are called khakis khaki pants. And khaki pants are formal. So a lot of people wear khaki pants to work. Blue jeans, it depends on your job. Maybe if you're a teacher, you can wear jeans. If you work in an office, maybe you can't wear jeans. And usually, if they're black, we call them slacks or dress pants. Slacks or dress pants if they're black. And those are usually very formal. Again, there are black jeans that are casual. And you'll notice the difference in the material. The, what they're made of is the difference. So dress pants are a much nicer material. Okay? So we have pants, the different type of pants, jeans, khakis, slacks, or dress pants. Okay? Uh, one that I do not have a picture of is if our pants are not shorts or pants, if they are in the middle, if they come below our knee, but above our ankle, we call them capris, capris. So capris aren't shorts or pants. They actually, they come about right here. They come to your ankle. Those are called capris. People wear these in, in the spring and the summer. Capris. In British English, they use the word trousers. Trousers. In the US, we use pants. I'm going to put capris in the middle. So you know the length of capris is in the middle of shorts and pants. Okay, next one, a skirt, a skirt. So skirt is usually more formal. Um, there are different lengths of skirts. So if the skirt is short like this, if it comes above the knee, we call it a mini skirt, mini skirt. So a mini skirt is short. If the skirt comes around the knee or a little below the knee, we call that a mid, midi skirt, midi skirt, kind of like middle. It hits the mid part of our leg. So mini skirt is short, midi skirt with a D, midi skirt comes in the middle of our leg. 
And then a long skirt that comes to our ankles or our feet is called a maxi skirt, maxi skirt. Again, this is US English. I'm not sure if it's the same in British English, but midi skirt, sorry, mini skirt, midi skirt, and maxi skirt is what we use to refer to the length of the skirt we're wearing. So a skirt. Thank you, Harry, for, for typing those. Yeah, mini, midi, maxi, perfect. And it's kind of self-explanatory, right? Mini, we think of mini as small, so a mini skirt is shorter, it's smaller. Midi, we think of the middle, it comes to the middle of our leg, and maxi is bigger or longer. All right, our next one is a dress, a dress. And again, there are many different types of dresses, okay? So we'll talk about a few, but there are a lot of different types of dresses. Um, we could probably have a whole lesson on types of dresses, depending on the sleeves, um, the length, what it's made of, all kinds of dresses. So a cocktail dress, what we call a cocktail, cocktail dress, um, we would wear maybe to a party. It's a nicer, more formal dress, but not super formal. A cocktail dress maybe is like a black dress that comes to our knees. Um, an evening gown, an evening gown is going to be a very formal dress. Maybe we wear an evening gown to a very formal event, okay? Um, we also have just in the U.S. what we call a summer dress. A summer dress is just a casual dress that we would wear in the summer, maybe like what I'm holding. Um, it's very flowy and not very formal, just a summer dress. So lots of different kinds of dresses, okay? All right. The next one, there's actually two words for this. Um, I only wrote one, but I'll go over the other one. So this is a suit, a suit. And I know that a common mistake for this is people pronounce it sweet. So it's actually pronounced suit. Sweet is a different word. Sweet is if there's an E on the end and it has a different meaning, okay? So this is pronounced suit or a tuxedo suit or tuxedo. To be honest, I don't know the exact differences between a suit and a tuxedo because they're very slight differences. I think it's something about the material. I believe a, a tuxedo has satin and a suit doesn't. Um, I think it's also something about the pockets maybe, but you can say suit or tuxedo. Suit or tuxedo. And we also call it a tux. So for short, in native English, we just say a tux instead of tuxedo, a suit or a tux. What is on that suit right here? We call it a bow tie, a bow tie. So a bow tie is the smaller one but also sometimes you will see men wear the longer one and this is just called a tie. So a tie is the longer one and a bow tie is the small one, like what was in the, the photo of the suit, okay? We've almost filled our closet. I actually have another one. I'm, I'm out of hangers, my closet is full. <laughs> Okay, this one is a bonus, a bonus word. I don't know if any of you wear these. Maybe you see them in movies or shows about people who live on a farm. <laughs> Does anyone know what these are called? There's a different word in American English and British English. So we call these overalls, but they can also be called dungarees, dungarees. But here in the U.S., we call them overalls, overalls. So it's kind of like the top and the bottoms, it's all one, it's all attached. A lot of times in movies, you will see that farmers wear overalls. Um, but these days, overalls are very stylish. 
I have overalls that I wear. Um, I love overalls. I have a lot actually of different colored overalls. So overalls or they're also called dungarees. Okay. And I'm out of space. So I'm just going to put that there. Okay. I'm going to take questions really quickly. And then we just have a couple of more accessories that we're going to go over. So accessories are things like what we wear on our head or um, a belt, which we'll talk about. And then we're going to do a little practice activity. So if you have any questions, type them in the chat. Somebody made a Barney Stinson reference. I don't know if all of you watch the show, How I Met Your Mother. There's a character named Barney Stinson. Um, yeah, he wears a suit and a, a bow tie a lot. That's funny. Just checking the chat really quickly. Okay. We're going to go over shoes. Don't worry. <laughs> shoes are coming. Okay, let's move on. So the next one can be used if our pants or our trousers are too big, or it can be used just to look nicer. So the next one is a belt, a belt. So a belt is what we wear around our waist on our pants. If our pants are a little too big, we can wear a belt to keep, to make them tighter. But many people also wear a belt for fashion because they like the way that it looks with their outfit. So it's used for both, okay? So this is called a belt. The next one, Our next ones, there's more than one. So I printed three because there's different kinds. So we have a hat or a cap. A hat or a cap. So let's talk about the difference. I need, I need a third hand to help me hold these. So this is a cap. Oftentimes we refer to it as a baseball cap. Um, because maybe you see baseball players wear something like this. So this is a cap. A cap has the front part that sticks out that we call a bill. That's called the bill. So a cap will always have that front part that sticks out. Okay. This is a cap. This is a hat. So a hat is different. A hat, there are different types of hats. So this one we maybe wear in the cold weather. This one we might wear to a formal event. Okay. This is another different type of hat. These are also very trendy right now. Lots of people like to wear a hat like this. Okay, so cap. A cap will always have the bill on the front. And then we also have hats. Make sure you can still see all of that. Perfect, perfect. Okay. Oh, I forgot two things. I think I told you a blazer is like what I'm wearing. Um, it's used usually more formally. So if we're going to work, you might wear a nice blazer. They can be black or brown. Mine's pink. Um, this is called a blazer. And I also forgot to tell you about sweatpants or joggers. So these are pants that we wear to be, they're very casual, to be comfortable, maybe in our home or to the gym, or if we're going out to the supermarket and we don't want to dress up, we just want to dress down. We put on sweatpants or joggers. So these are pants that are very casual and very comfortable, okay? A lot of times we wear sweatpants and joggers with um, just a t-shirt or a sweatshirt or hoodie. I don't have a picture of them, I'm sorry. Okay, next one are gloves, gloves. So gloves we wear, some people wear gloves to work in the garden maybe, 
people put on gloves to work in their garden or when it's colder outside. Um, my mother wears gloves when it's cold. She wears them while she drives to keep her fingers warm in the winter. And I'm going to show you the difference between gloves and what we call mittens, okay? So gloves, gloves have a space for each finger, okay? There's a difference. Gloves have a special space for each of your fingers, but mittens don't have a space for each finger. All of your fingers go in the same space for mittens, okay? Mittens we wear in the winter to keep our hands warm. Gloves we can also wear in the winter, but they're used for other things, uh, for certain jobs or to work in the garden, we wear gloves. So that's the difference between gloves and mittens, okay? Gloves have a special place for each finger. Mittens, only your thumb, only your thumb goes in a different place. Hmm. Running out of room. We have a full closet. We're almost done. Gloves and mittens. Okay, the next one we wear in the winter or the fall when it's colder outside. Uh, it's used or it's worn as a fashion piece. Many people like to wear it to look nice or to look trendy, but it's also used to keep you warm. We wear it around our neck and it's called a scarf. Uh, upside down, a scarf, okay? So scarf is used in colder weather to keep us warm or to look cool. I like to wear scarves because I like the way they look, <laughs> a scarf. If it is the summer and we're going to the beach or to the swimming pool, in US English, we call it a swimsuit or a bathing suit. We're going to wear our swimsuit or our bathing suit, okay, if we're going swimming, whether it's in the ocean or in a pool, swimsuit or bathing suit. There's special names for females and males in American English. So for a female, maybe we might call it a bikini. There's a separate top and bottom. For males, we call them swimming trunks. Um, but to refer to both swimsuit and bathing suit. If you have any questions, type them in the chat. We're going to go through the last thing, which are shoes, and then we're going to do a little practice before we end today's lesson. So if you have any questions, type them in the chat, please. Okay, good. What's the difference between a vest and a jacket? That's a good question. So here in the US, a vest, um, it's going to be this part. So it opens, sometimes it buttons, but there's no sleeves. So a lot of people like to wear maybe a sweater with a vest over it. Um, a vest can be trendy as well, sometimes formal. There's also winter vests that are very thick that are supposed to help keep this part warm, okay? So here in the U.S., a vest, if we're talking about a vest, it's this part right here, but there's no sleeves. It's sleeveless, and you would wear a long sleeve shirt under it. A jacket, a jacket in the U.S. usually has sleeves. It does have sleeves. <clears throat> okay, let's do shoes really quickly, and then we're going to do a little practice activity. So before we put on our shoes, depending on what shoes we're wearing, usually we have to put on our socks first. So socks are what we wear under certain types of shoes. You don't always have to wear socks with shoes, um, but these are our socks. It's a really big sock. I don't know why this one <laughs> is so big, a big sock. And then shoes are what we wear on our feet, and there are different types of shoes. So we're just going to go over four really quickly. There's more, there's lots of different types of shoes, but we'll talk about four. So if it's the summertime, and maybe we're going to the beach or to the pool, we might wear what's called sandals. So sandals 
are shoes that show part of our feet and usually they show our toes as well. You can see our toes when you wear sandals. So these types of shoes are sandals. If you might see a lot of Americans wearing these shoes, I don't like them, but if the shoe only has two straps and you put it between your toes like this, it's called a flip-flop. <laughs> Flip-flops are very popular summer shoes, especially if you're going to the beach or to the pool. Um, a lot of people here wear flip-flops in the summer. So sandals usually have a, a strap over your foot or behind your foot. A flip-flop doesn't. It just has two skinny straps that go on top of your foot. Um, so these are sandals, but there's also flip-flops. Okay, if we are going to the gym, or maybe we just want to be casual, we're going to the park or something. Uh, in the US, we call these tennis shoes or sneakers. Tennis shoes or sneakers. I think there's a different word in British English. I looked it up, trainers. I believe they're called trainers in British English. Is that right? Yeah, trainers. But in American English, we call them um, tennis shoes or sneakers. Tennis shoes or sneakers. So these are very casual uh, for going to the park or to the supermarket or to exercise. Nike, yeah. Nike is a very popular brand for tennis shoes. Adidas. Um, I don't even know what other brands there are. Very good. I always think it's funny that they're called tennis shoes because it's not like everyone's going to play tennis in those shoes. <laughs> they're going to do lots of different things, but they're called tennis shoes. Okay, the next one is more commonly worn by women when they're going to work or to a formal event, when they're dressing up, and that is high heels, high heels, or we just call them heels for short, heels. And these are very formal shoes. Um, they have a very tall part where the back of your foot is higher than the front. They're very uncomfortable to walk in. <laughs> I can't walk in heels. They look, I look very funny when I try to walk in them. I don't wear high heels um, unless I have to. And they make, they make you taller. So these are high heels. Okay, last one, last pair of shoes. I ran out of tape here. Give me one moment. And ask any questions you have before we practice, okay? Any questions that you have. If there's something that you didn't see up here that you want to know about, let me know. So the last one that we would call dress shoes here in the U.S., um, which these are men's dress shoes. Just refer to formal shoes maybe that you would wear to a wedding or to work um, that you would dress up in. So dress shoes are usually very nice shoes brown or black, sometimes white. So they're just a more formal shoe. We wouldn't wear them with our pajamas. Pajamas is a word I didn't put up here. Pajamas is what we wear at night to sleep in. Pajamas or PJs. We call them PJs for short. Okay, so dress shoes. And again, there are many different other types of shoes, but these are just the basics, okay? Um, I did one more that's not a piece of clothing, but it's an accessory that we wear, um, which is a purse or a wallet. So a lot of times you'll see women carrying a bag with their phone and their keys and their wallet. We call that a purse. A wallet is what we put our identification um, and our money, our credit cards in. So there's a difference. So a wallet holds our ID, our money, our credit cards. A purse is a bag, typically carried by women, not always, um, where we hold things like our keys and our wallet, our, our lipstick, our hand sanitizer, that sort of thing, okay? All right, I'm gonna take questions and then we're gonna do a little bit of practice where you get to type in the chat, okay? And practice using some of this vocabulary. So 
Um, another type of shoes I didn't put up here are boots. So boots usually come up higher. They come up past our ankle. We can wear them in the winter or some people wear them for certain jobs. Or when you hike, some people wear boots while they hike. <clears throat> okay. Let me just scroll up really quick. Uh, sandals and high heels aren't the same, no. So sandals are, are more casual. Sandals show a part, usually sandals will show our toes um, and a part of our foot and they're flat. High heels are like this. They have a part on the back that's, that makes the person taller and high heels usually don't show your toes. Um, and they're very formal. We wouldn't wear high heels to the beach or around our house. Sometimes if I know I need to wear high heels for a special event, I will wear them around my house to practice walking in them. <laughs> okay. Oh, and someone used an idiom, very good. Head over heels. There's an, an um, expression or an idiom to be head over heels in love. So head over heels means you really, really like someone, maybe even love them. Um, your, your love for them is like crazy. So to be head over heels in love. Very good use of that idiom. Okay. Let's do some practice really quickly, and then we're going to end the lesson. I know we're almost out of time. So I have two different things we're going to do, and you need to type this. So get your fingers ready to practice typing. I'm going to show you a couple of pictures of people that I cut out of a magazine last night. And I want you in the chat to describe what they're wearing. What pieces of clothing are they wearing? If you want, if that's too easy, you can even describe the colors of what they're wearing if it fits them well, if it looks too big or too small, okay? So I'll give you the freedom to do as much as you want. So I'm going to show you the picture and you have to describe what they are wearing. So the first one, just what you can see. Hopefully you can see that. Tell me, what, what are they wearing? From what you can see, I know it's not the best picture, but. From what you can see, what are they wearing? This is Pete Davidson and Phoebe. I don't know how to say her last name. I don't know who Phoebe is. I know who Pete Davidson is. He's a celebrity, a famous person. So tell me what they're wearing. What pieces of clothing do you see on them? I'll give you just a moment. And you can practice writing full sentences if you'd like. He is wearing or she is wearing. So remember to wear, that's the verb we use when we're talking about what clothes we have on. I was trying to move so you could see this and this, but I know you can't see my face. <laughs> so practice using the verb wear. Are they dressed up or are they dressed down? Do you remember what dressed up and dressed down means? Are they dressed up or dressed down? Okay, good. I'm going to start reading some of your answers. He is wearing good a hoodie. So, right, because it has the hood, we can call it a hoodie. He's wearing a hoodie. Good. The woman is wearing sunglasses. They're actually both wearing sunglasses. Very good. Um, he is wearing a cap. Very good. So remember, a cap is when it has that front part that sticks out. That's a cap. Very good. He's wearing a cap. She is wearing a jacket. Good. This is a jacket. So it's not a coat. It's not snowing outside. This is a jacket. Good. Very good. He's wearing a cap, hoodie, and jeans. She's wearing a blue jacket and joggers. Very good. Okay, let's do another one. Next one. Here is the next one. Tell me, what do you see? What do you see? 
I know this one isn't in color. Um, so obviously, I don't know if some of you know this person. I think they're well known. They're very clearly an athlete, right? Looks like they're running. Can anyone tell me who this is? So shorts, so these are shorts, Nike shorts. I don't know if you see the, the mark, right? Nike shorts. So most of the time, if we're playing sports or exercising, we're going to wear shorts like this. Very comfortable. Um, a lot of people like to wear Nike shorts. And then the top is a tank top. Very good. Which a lot of people wear specific tank tops that are made for exercising. The material is special for exercising. And what shoes do you think they're wearing? If they're running, what shoes do you think they have on? It's not in the picture, but if you had to guess, what shoes? Okay, we're gonna do one more of this. One more. All right. So this is a nice couple. Tell me, what are they wearing? from what you can see in the picture. What are they wearing? What is he wearing and what is she wearing? Let me give you just a moment to type your answers. Oh, very good. <laughs> She's wearing overalls. I have some overalls kind of like this. They're very comfortable overalls. So there's different types of overalls. Some have a buckle at the top that you can um, undo and, and do and take them off that way. The blue jean overalls usually have that. These are more um, trendy overalls. So you wouldn't typically see you know, a farmer wearing overalls like this. These are more trendy overalls. Very good. He is wearing a button up shirt. Very good. So because it has the buttons up through the middle, he's wearing a long sleeve button up shirt. Very good. And it's a denim. Very good. So denim is a word we use when we're talking about the material. It's a denim shirt. Very good. And he's wearing jeans. I believe they're jeans. They're very dark jeans. Good job. Very good. Okay. One last thing before we end. So now I'm going to give you the freedom. I'm going to tell you where you're going and you are going to tell me how you would dress. What would you wear, okay? It's your personal opinion or choice, all right? There's no right or wrong answer. It's whatever you would wear, okay? So if you are going to a job interview, if you're going to a job interview, what would you wear to a job interview? Tell me the whole outfit from top to bottom, okay? What shoes, what type of top? What would you wear to a job interview? Type it in the chat. What would you wear to a job interview? Okay, Raphael says he will wear a tuxedo or a tux, very fancy. You want to make a good impression, right? Very good. Okay, tuxedo. What else? What are you going to wear to a job interview? Good. A suit and shoes, probably nicer shoes, right? Like these, the dress shoes. A suit and dress shoes. I'm wearing a suit, maxi skirt, and high heels. Good. So usually for a job interview, we would wear maybe a longer skirt. We wouldn't wear a mini skirt um, to a job interview. And high heels. Good. I'm going to wear a suit or a long dress. Very good. Button-up shirt and jeans. Good. A button-up shirt and slacks, very good. Probably with a belt, right? I think uh, usually to be very formal, if you're wearing a button-up shirt and slacks, you tuck in, so that's another vocab. So when we take our shirt and put it 
inside our pants. We call that to tuck in our shirt. So a lot of people tuck in their shirt into their pants and then they put a belt on. And this looks very formal, looks very nice. Yeah, can't forget the belt. <laughs> very good. Okay, what about if you are going to the mountains in the middle of winter? You're taking a trip to ski or snowboard in the mountains. What are you going to wear? It's really cold. It's snowing. What are you going to wear in the cold, snowy mountains from top to bottom? What would you wear? Well, some of you, I don't know if any of you mentioned, probably in your job interview, you would also wear, the men would wear a tie. You don't have to, but some people maybe wear a button-up shirt with a tie and slacks, tuck their shirt in and put a belt on. That's very formal. What about to the mountains? What all are you going to wear to the cold, snowy mountains? A coat, of course, a coat to keep us warm. Overalls, a coat, and boots, definitely boots. There's different types of boots. Someone says, I'm gonna wear a coat. Roven, I'm gonna wear a coat, hat, gloves, and a scarf. All of the necessities. And probably we would wear this hat, right? There's a special winter hat that we wear for cold weather. Scarf, mittens, and coat. Good, you can wear gloves or mittens. Both are used for cold weather. Socks, when it's cold outside, if I'm going to the snow, I like to wear two or three pairs of socks because I hate when my feet get cold. So I put on extra socks to keep my feet warm. <laughs> Very, very good. Okay, last one, last one. If you're going to the beach, you're going on vacation to the beach, what are you going to wear to the beach? What are you going to wear to the beach? What are, and it's different for everyone. Not everybody likes to get in the ocean. Some people just like to sit on the beach, so maybe you'll wear something different. What are you wearing to the beach? Good, a cap, a t-shirt, and shorts. Good. Oh, someone said a Hawaiian shirt. I don't know if you know what a Hawaiian shirt is. So a Hawaiian shirt is a short-sleeved, buttoned-up shirt that usually has some designs like palm trees or the beach designs on them. They're very popular. Uh, so very good answer. You're gonna wear a Hawaiian shirt. Tank top, shorts, and a cap, a swimsuit, a hat, and sunglasses. Yeah, I have to have sunglasses at the beach. Very good. Okay, we're going to end it here. Great job. And I know it's probably late for some of you. Um, I don't know if you like to dress up or dress down. It depends on how I'm feeling. Um, some days I really like to dress up, especially when I'm going to give a live lesson for you all. I like to dress up, um, but when I'm just staying home and being lazy, I usually dress down. So that is the end of today's lesson. I know we covered a lot of vocabulary, some verbs, and many different pieces of clothing, and I didn't put all of the words up here, um, I just said some of them. So if you need to go back and review this lesson, it is going to be uploaded on Cambly's YouTube channel. If you missed something, you can go back and rewatch that. And if any of you are new to Cambly, maybe you haven't checked it out, Cambly is a great way that you can connect and talk with a native English speaker with a touch of a button any time of day. There are native English tutors from many different countries with many different accents who can help you improve your English and achieve whatever goals you have for yourself. So if you haven't checked out Cambly, be sure to do that. There will be some really great Black Friday promotions coming up soon. So be sure to keep your eye open for that, okay? That is going to be it for today. Thank you so much for joining today's lesson and helping me fill my closet. I hope you all enjoy the rest of your Halloween or the rest of your Sunday. 
And we will see you for next week's live lesson. All right. Bye, everybody. See you next time. Happy Halloween.